always exciting for me was the fact that the cast were actually getting a little bit older and the story dips into some pretty big, interesting issues. That was lovely, Rupert. That was lovely. He likes the really special relationship that Dan, Rupert and I have as a friendship, which can be brought into Harry, Ron and Hermione. This story offers an opportunity for all of the cast to really push themselves as actors. That was terrific. And um, they want to be able to defend themselves. And so they form this secret society, and it effectively becomes known as Dumbledore's Army. It's kind of like a team where everyone learns from Harry, learns magic. Stunning is one of the most important spells in your arsenal. It's sort of a wizard's bread and butter, really. This is him fighting back and using the knowledge that he has gained over the last sort of five years to try and train up as many other people because there is a war coming. The Order of the Phoenix is an organisation dedicated to fighting Voldemort and fighting the Death Eaters. The original Order of the Phoenix. Part of the Order was Harry's parents, Sirius Black, obviously, Mad-Eye Moody, and a few others. A bit of a crew. <laughs> Do you really think there's going to be a war, Sirius? It's also got incredible sort of emotional value for Harry because it would feel like he's following his parents' footsteps. we've ever actually had to do any proper fighting with ones before. What I love about it is that it doesn't look like anything else. There are certain ways of using the wand, and certain movements and a certain physicality. One spell may be above the head, another spell may be from down below. It's not just waving around a wand. You've got to really have the intent to deliver the curse. So that's your yeah. bit of knowledge for today about wands. One of the most interesting aspects is the relationship between Harry and Cho. A little, little time. Whenever they see each other, they're kind of just drawing closer to each other. I know people are looking forward to seeing Kiss. It's not just about the kiss, it's about the unbelievably complex relationship that Cho and Harry have. I knew Katie was so nervous, I was quite nervous as well. There was lots of courtesy chewing gum going in my mouth that day. In the uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, I've escaped from prison, and this time he's been straining a bit to get back to see Harry. Serious? What are you doing here? I had to see you off, didn't I? I kind of treat Harry like an adult, really, and there is some special relationship there because I adore Dan. You see, you've done it beautifully. He's doing such a brilliant job of the character, and it's just an honour to be working with him.